now let us discuss about knowledge representation in first order predicate logic here some facts or statements are given now we have to represent all these statements or facts with the help of well formed formulas in first order logic or predicate logic in the next video we will solve this problem here we have a problem like uh, does john like peanuts so we will solve this problem with the help of resolution so let's see the first statement or fact john likes all kinds of food so here all all means we have to use universal quantifier so for all x all kinds of food so food of x so here food means food of x means all types of foods john likes so here if the sentence contains all then we have to use implication symbol implication john likes here likes is the predicate likes of here the first argument is john and what is the second argument john likes all kinds of food so food means x so if you see the sentence for all x food of x so food of x means all kinds of food if the sentence contains all then we have to use implication symbol so here what is the predicate likes is the predicate so here the first argument is john second argument is all kinds of food <laughs> next second fact apple and vegetables are food so it is just like marcus was a man marcus was a man so he is written as man of marcus apple and vegetables are food so apple is food so food is the predicate food of so what is the subject apple is the subject food of apple and vegetables are food so and simple vegetables are food so food is the predicate vegetables vegetables is the subject next anything anyone eats and not killed is food anything anyone so anything means that food item anyone means that person so both are universal quantifiers only so for all x for all y here we can use either x as either anything or anyone likewise y as either anything or anyone anything anyone eats so what is the predicate eats is the predicate let us assume that x for that anyone x means anyone so y means that food item anything so anyone eats anything so x means that person anyone so y means that food item anything a anyone eats anything and not killed is food and means we have to use and symbol not killed so not symbol killed is the predicate so here killed means that person that person means x is means here we have universal quantifier for all for all so you is means that all persons so we have to use implication symbol so food of so food item means why food item means why here in place of uh, uh, this x we can also use y so we can also use x as that anything y as anyone so if we use x as anything then instead of y we have to use x okay next anil eats peanuts and still alive anil eats peanuts so eats is the predicate eats of so what is the first argument anil eats peanuts peanuts and symbol still alive still alive so we can also use this as alive 
so that uh, meaning won't changes if if the sentence is either still alive or alive so let us eliminate still alive who is alive anil is alive anil so anil eats peanuts and anil is alive next one hari hari eats everything that anil eats hari eats everything that anil eats so here eats is the predicate so let us first use anil later use hari or here also we can use hari in the right side we can use anil there is no problem eats of yeah that uh, that uh, that item that item is nothing but x everything means we have to use universal quantifier so for all x eats of anil eats everything so that food item is nothing but x implication if the sentence contains everything for all then we have to use implication symbol harry eats everything so eats is the predicate first argument is harry second argument is x here the question is does john like peanuts so let us represent this sentence in well formed formula with the help of first order logic and predicate logic so like of john comma peanuts in order to solve this problem we have to add two more predicates such as here we have alive here we have not killed but the meaning of alive and not killed both are same only so let us add two more predicates the first predicate is alive means not killed there is no difference but we have two different predicate predicates so alive means not killed or next one not killed means not killed means alive so alive means not killed so how we can represent this sentence so for all x if there are 10 persons then alive means all the 10 persons are not killed for all x alive of x all the 10 persons are so we have to use implication symbol not killed so not killed of x so alive means not killed likewise for all x not killed of x means alive if there are 10 persons if all the 10 persons are not killed then we can say that all the 10 persons are alive okay so we have to add these two new, new predicates in order to solve this problem in the next video we are going to solve this problem with the help of the resolution please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for